Welcome to another video in our series, Money Study Group Online. For serious students of personal finance at the Bauer College of Business at the University of Houston. It's week two, actually it's week one, but uh, this is the assignment for your budget. So last week was actually week zero, this is week one, but this week we're focusing on budgets. So what we're going to do in this assignment is you're going to create uh, a budget. I'm going to show you how to do that, but first of all, first things first, you should have now set up your account with your online planning portal at Bayrock. You'll notice it's actually at Wright Capital. So we partner with Wright Capital at Bayrock, but you've set up your own portal, your own account, and this is what you will see. So if you happened to miss our Zoom meeting earlier, you know we introduced David Manchild. And so just a little backstory, a little backstory here, is that one of the main purposes of this assignment is for you to step out of your dorm room or living at home and now make some assumptions. You're going to have to do some research to figure out what are you likely to make in terms of salary, income, after you graduate. So you're going to have to do a little research and come up with that salary that you expect to be paid. In addition to that, I'm going to show you, I'm looking for the expenses that you're going to have after you move out of the house, after you graduate, after you start your job. So let's look at David here. You notice these are cards. Each of these are cards. So we have profile income, savings, net worth, expenses, and goals. Those are the first five data cards you will, or is that six data cards you'll need to complete, starting with who are you? Now you'll notice that you have a co-client card in there, and if you're married, that's your co-client. It's not your roommate, unless you're going to be somehow betrothed with your roommate, which I strongly encourage you not to do. If you're married, then you want to put their name in. So you see here I put David Manchild, I put his birthday and his age. You want to do the same thing. Then we get to income. Now you see here, David doesn't have any income, but you are going to have an income. And again, you need to be careful to do a little research to come up with that salary, the income that you expect. I'm going to be looking at this in the assignment. You need to take a screenshot and show me what you added for your salary. And are you going to accept, uh, are, you ex are you going to have Social Security? Uh, you can say yes or no. That's up to you. I would say use a simple estimate if you want. Uh, so that's income. That's the second of six cards that you're going to need to attend to. Then we get into savings. Now if you have savings, that's great. You should add those here. We will work on this more as we develop your capstone assignment, but for now you don't need to pay much attention to that. This net worth card is very, very important. So you notice here we have link account. This is critical. This week I would like you to add the main credit card or debit card that you use. What's going to happen then is your portal will aggregate every single transaction so that you will see and I will see each of the items you've spent over the course of the semester. Now if you're not comfortable doing that because for some reason you're afraid that I'll have access to your information. I won't. This is highly secure bank level encryption. However, if you refuse to do it, that's fine. You will need then to create a spreadsheet and include every single transaction, every purchase you make throughout the semester. And I'll be grading that. It'll take me extra time and effort and I will be paying close attention to the detail, to the penny, every day, everything you spend. So this makes it super easy. It's like mint.com. Same bank level security, uh, but there's no ads. So I would encourage you to link all of your accounts, starting with your credit card. Uh, looks like I'm locked up. So uh, I would encourage you to link all of your accounts, starting with your credit card and your debit card, so that you will have uh, 
every transaction to the penny in real time. And that'll be great once you download the mobile app, which I'll introduce you to in a, another video. You'll have all of that information at your fingertips. It's a great tool. It's a great resource. So then we get to expenses. And here's where I want you to pay close attention. You're going to click on that living expenses, pre-retirement living expenses. And you're going to, just like we did for David in this morning's Zoom meeting, you're going to you're going to put in the uh, totals that you expect to be expenses related to your life. So you maybe need to be a little creative on some of these like bills and utility. Uh, this doesn't show your mortgage or your rent right now. There's other places we can put that. But these are basic expenses. So feel free to use the miscellaneous and uncategorized if you have expenses that you don't see here categorized. And uh, make sure you leave a comment in your final paper or article about what you did in terms of any unique expenses. So then we get to goals, and that's where you just get to add the goals that you have for yourself or that you will have. Now, just a note, you don't need to spend too much time. This should not take very much time. I'm not asking you to finish your entire financial plan. That's what we're going to work on throughout the semester. Your capstone assignment will build onto each level of your financial plan. So we're just getting started. These are the first six data cards, and that's your homework assignment, paying special attention to coming up with a reasonable income for yourself after you retire, after you retire, after you graduate and you start to work. That's going to be important. That needs to go into your plan. And then your net worth, uh, I'm sorry, your expenses need to be thought well thought out and put some thought into that. And you may need to do a little research to figure out what is it going to cost. Uh, for you to live. So we will cover this more. Uh, like I said, your capstone assignment, we will add to it each each week. But this week, you're just getting started. So do your best if you have questions. Oh, don't forget, I hope you already voted on your favorite collaboration tool. Whatever tool won that vote will be where I will be posting uh, the weekly lesson tutorial and also where I will be looking for your questions and your comments. So if you have questions, if you need my help, then that's where you will need to post it. Please don't send me an email. I get way too many emails. I will be looking at our tool, our collaboration tool, to see what questions are coming up. And each week I will do a tutorial, a lesson review, with a tutorial to help you move forward. Uh, so pay attention to that. I will be paying attention to that. And finally, last thing I want to say is this assignment will be due on Tuesday at 10 a.m. before our Zoom meeting. However, if you want to get extra points, turn this assignment in by noon Friday. That's when I plan to be working on the weekly assignment review tutorial video. So if you take the time to do your assignment early, you get extra points and I get to use your assignment as a way to help other students make sure they get it right. They won't get the extra points for turning it in after Friday at noon, but you will. So I encourage you to get it done early, turn it in, and if you have any, if there are any deficiencies, I'll review those and I'll let you know. And I'll do the tutorial video where you'll get another chance to review and update your assignment and get full points plus extra points if you turn it in Friday by noon. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.